Muhammad, the trustworthy of Mecca. None of the houses of Mecca, not even the Kaaba, remained safe from the severe flood that flowed down the high mountains of Mecca and many cracks appeared in the walls of the Kaaba. The Quraysh had decided to repair the house of God, but were afraid of demolishing it. However, a man from Quraysh started to rebuild the house of God. People watching him said, Oh, that's Walid, the son of Mughayra. What is he doing? Look, he destroyed two pillars of Kaaba. Another man said, What do we know now? He is sure to be struck by the wrath of the idols. The people of Mecca who were waiting for something to occur also took part in demolishing Kaaba. When they saw that Walid was not struck with the wrath of the idols and got sure that his deed had pleased the idols, so they all took part in the demolishing. Incidentally, the same day a ship coming from Egypt that belonged to a Roman merchant was damaged severely owing to a storm near Mecca. When the Quraysh came to know about the incident, they sent a few men to the place to buy the planks of the ship for the Kaaba building. And from that day, handling the things related to the carpentry of Kaaba handed to an Egyptian carpenter who lived in Mecca. People said to each other, The wall of Kaaba has reached the height of a human being. It's time to install the black stone in its place. Yes, said another man. But who should have the honor of installing the black stone? Installing this stone has a great virtue. Meanwhile, a great dispute began amongst the heads of the tribes. As a result, the construction of Kaaba was stopped for five whole days. Everybody was awaiting a bloody incident. Finally, an old man named Abu Umayya gathered the heads of Quraysh and said, Listen, I have a suggestion. Choose the first one who enters from the door as the judge. All right, it's a very good idea. Oh, he's the same trustworthy of Mecca coming in. Oh, yes, we agree to his being the judge. The Prophet of God ordered for a piece of cloth in order to put an end to the enmity. Next, he placed the black stone on it and said, Each one of you, four leaders of Mecca, hold a corner of this cloth. When they took the store near the foundation, the trusted one of Mecca, Muhammad the son of Abdullah, took the stone with his blessed hands and put the stone in its place, and in this way, put an end to the disputes of the Quraysh, which was about to lead to bloodshed.